welcome back to another video. Um, this is going to be a quick one. Thanking everyone for 100 subscribers. Um, I know it's not a massive, uh, uh, isn't, I know it's not a big like achievement, but um, I'm proud of it. We're into the triple digits. Um, I think the next, uh, I don't think I'll be doing much for this. Um, later on today, I will be streaming, um, hopefully. Um, so something I uh, uh, I'll be talking about that in a minute. Um, so yeah, one hundred subscribers. Uh, thank thank all one hundred of you for some reason wanting more of my stupid face, or maybe you just want to see more of her attacking me. Yeah. Um, and I hope uh, um, we'll look grow this channel even bigger. Uh, I think the next time I'll um, be doing a little video like this is pro probably going to be at like 500, then 1000, then 5000, then uh, 10,000 if I ever get as far as 500. Um, but who knows, maybe I will, maybe I won't, maybe I'll get lucky, maybe I won't get lucky. We will have to just wait and see, won't we? Yeah. Um, So, um, the stream, uh, later on today, uh, for I might as well just like announce this quickly. Um, while I'm here, I will be streaming on later on today, don't know what time, might be soon after this, might not, uh, probably sometime after 12 so I can get myself uh, something to eat before streaming, because uh, in the last stream I got something to eat during the stream, so you know, maybe, or maybe sometime about 6 o'clock, um, if I haven't. So, like, sometime after 4 o'clock, uh, not 4 o'clock, sometime after 12 o'clock, but if I've not done it about then, then maybe sometime after 4 or 6 o'clock, because uh, I get, like, dinner at about 12 and then tea about 4 o'clock, so probably sometime in between after, probably sometime between after, get, after dinner time and tea time, or in between tea time and bedtime. Um, so, yeah, I know that doesn't really narrow it down much, but... Yeah. You're gonna stop attacking me now. Nope. Um and it will be Po Pokemon Pokemon Colis Seum. Um, which is already one of the hardest Pokemon games out there. Um, but I will also be using the worst possible team. Um, and how I picked this team out was I watched a compilation video of um, Chugga Conroy as. Uh, Bios for each of the obtainable Pokemon in Pokemon Colosseum, and uh, I was like, okay, the, uh, and then uh, based off his uh, bios of them, and what I already know about the Pokemon, I made my decisions, um, and uh, I was actually kind of slightly surprised that I kind of had a bit of a hard time um, making this team. <laughs> So, the first Pokemon wasn't too difficult, it was Ledian, uh, which is obtainable in the Yonder, um, which isn't um, too far into the game, like, it's like the third new, fourth new area, I think, third or fourth, maybe fifth, uh, but I don't think you go to uh, Mount Battle before then, at least I don't think you do, I think you go to the Yonder, then Mount Battle, then the Pokemon that um, it's been a while since I've played through the game myself. Um, will you stop harassing me? Stop harassing me. Yeah. You're just trying to don't say work with animals and don't work with babies and you're both a real baby animal. Yes, you are. Um, the next one is Apom. Um, uh, so, yeah, obviously, Lady Anne is widely known as one of the worst Pokemon of all time, like, it's, by stats it's not the worst Pokemon, but in the um, Colosseum it is the worst obtainable bug type and also the worst obtainable flying type. Get back here with my slipper, you. 
Um, so it deserved a position on the worst possible team. Uh, a pom is the worst obtainable normal type. Um, and by God, like honestly, they have some really good normal types in this game. Um, there's Ursa Ring, but I don't think that was obtained. Maybe that was obtainable in the main game, but I don't think it was. Ob that might be obtainable in the under. I, I can't remember which was he, but it might not be obtainable until teams like him hide out. Not too hundred percent that, but it also has Smeagol obtainable, which isn't, which I know isn't until Snagum Hideout, and Granbull, which if you're playing through Coliseum and you want a good normal type, Granbull is probably the best normal type in Pokemon Coliseum. Um, for it's not bad, and Stantler has its uh, uses in Coliseum, but uh, Apom is by far the worst is out. Uh, done by every other normal type. Um, Slugma is probably the best Pokemon on the team, but it's still probably the worst fire type you can obtain, and it's also a rock type, and it's not that. It's not. It's never really been that good, and even in Colosseum, it's really not that good, and. I was really pushed on putting it on here because I went through the video of all the bios once and then I was like missing two members including Slugma so I uh, really had to push for to make this team because they really don't give you a lot of bad Pokemon like a lot of Pokemon in the game are usable uh, there's some really good ones like Randall, Quagsire um, or oh, Mistrevious, ironically, even though it's not that good. In the main games in this game it is actually quite good because um, it, even though it doesn't evolve, it does get levitated and the AI just... It just... and it's the only ghost type and the AI just doesn't know what to do against Mistrevious half the time. Um, so yeah, Apom, that's in the Shadow Pokemon Lab though, which... Yeah, that's not going to be too later. Slugma... Uh, which is in Pyrite Town again. Not a bad. It's not really a that bad of a Pokemon, but it's just not really that good. And again, is it's the worst Pokemon that's currently available. And I needed to get something in the early game because it, otherwise it would just be uh, Umbreon and Espeon until um, yep, I get Plusle from Duking, um, which again Plusle. I'm duking. It's level 13, which is low, so uh, also when I get Slugma, I'll switch out Espeon for Slugma because Espeon is the best out of Umbreon and Espeon. And when I get uh, Plusle, it'll just be Slugma and Plusle until um, Pyrite, uh, not Pyrite, until um, the Under when I get Ledian. Not gonna be fun! And I'll be catching every Shadow Pokemon but not using the good ones. Um, and then that's it until I can get Delibird and Sunflora in real game tower. So most of the game I'll ha I won't have a full team of Pokemon and it, uh, it won't be until almost the end of the game where I'll actually have a full team of Pokemon. And the only two Pokemon then are Delibird and, Sl and Sunflora which granted are two of the worst Pokemon of all time. Worst fully, two of the worst fully evolved Pokemon of all time. But they're not until ne nearly the end game. They're not until pretty much the end game, so this is not going to be an easy challenge. Uh, not going to be easy. Yeah, I only use Espeon and Umbreon until I get Slugman, then I'll drop Espeon because it's the better of the two. And uh, then I'll replace Umbreon with Plusle, then I'll get Apom, then Ledian, then Delibird and Sunflora. This is going to be probably the hardest challenge anyone has ever done. In, po in a Pokemon game without, you know, one hacks with, with like um, Kaizu Emerald. This will probably be the hardest vanilla Pokemon challenge of all time. And it's not, and it may, might do a Nuzlocke of the, of like a uh, Colosseum or XD at some point, but that's going to be a little bit difficult because the Pokemon that you get are really limited, so it might just be like, 
might get rid of the one pay area rule because e if you do it by that you add you aren't gonna have many Pokemon by the end of the game. Um so just be like if they die they if they get knocked out they die and they revive items or anything like that. Um So yeah. I've already got the thumbnail made up. Um so yeah, thank you guys for 100 subscribers and uh, for what, look, and as you, as you can probably see down uh, down there, um, view, watch time has gone up but uh, views have gone down so it's kind of a bit of a trade off so less people are watching I guess but the people who are watching are staying longer which is good I think so yeah um, also uh, talking about the uh, live streams and videos uh, my goal right now is to hopefully have either a live stream or a record pre-recorded standalone video every other day so like say we started on Monday have like one of them on Monday nothing on Tuesday something on Wednesday nothing on Thursday something on Friday nothing on Saturday and something on Sunday so it would just be like one, two, three, so like about four um, a day for a week so like maybe four live streams or four videos or two live streams and two videos or three videos or, yeah there's no guaranteed like balance it probably mostly live streams probably because I'm gonna have like two live stream series at a time uh, where it'll just be like, um, so right now it'll be the Coliseum, um, but I use the worst possible team, and the, uh, um, the other live stream will be uh, Hollow Knight, which I get, ah, also, um, talking about Hollow Knight, I did try to upload episode 7, but I accidentally deleted the video um, be, uh, before the video fully uploaded, and it was on the hat from drive so I can't go into my bin and save it so yeah that's that's just lost, lost to the ether and we'll just be continuing on from where I left off I don't even remember where I left off so I'll probably be as lost as you guys um, so yeah I'll probably do some live streaming later I uh, hope to see you guys there uh, I'm really excited to do this because it's been a while since I've played Pokemon Coliseum and I'm excited to get back into it and I've got my Wii hooked up to the Elgato and that works properly so I'll be able to um, actually properly live stream so it'll actually look nice and not um, like with my old capture card where if I didn't like if I live stream it then I'd have to use a webcam and if I didn't live stream it the video recording would be all messed up because of the weirdness with the uh, Wii U uh, Wii to HDMI stuff um, so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, well, all I stream, whatever I do. And thank you guys again. Thank you for 100 subscribers. Let's keep growing together. Uh, bye bye.